Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to me after about two pints and way too much sun. I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but I am reviewing this YI camera and giving you an in-depth understanding of things like 4K and frames per second, and generally giving you an idea how you can judge this camera for yourself. I'm also going to give you uh, the opportunity to win one of these, so don't just cut off now, watch the whole video, because I'm going to make you wait right till the end before you're going to find out how you can win. Enjoy. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Paul with another product- nah, I'm not going to do that. Who talks like that? Only idiots. Uh, this is the Y or Wii or Yai action camera, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It has been sent to me by the people themselves, Yi, Yai or Y, uh, and I am excited. I'm going to open it now. What have we got? What have we got? Ugh. Okay, it's shiny, and I love shiny things. I love shiny things. Shiny things are exciting. Mm. Red, white eye, what does that mean? Thank you for choosing why I love why I question mark why is it go away? Oh, it's pretty. It's very, very, very pretty. I like it, and it's got a screen on the back, very similar to the Muson camera that I reviewed before. Shiny, shiny. I love shiny things so much. You show me the shiny as well. Off. Battery compartment doesn't remove that, that's cool, and uh, basically looks like very similar to the GoPro batteries. <laughs> Not reading those. Bizarrely similar to the GoPro batteries. Get off. A very small USB cable. An empty box. Awesome, let's go plug it in. What are you doing, babe? Check and see if it's filming. No, I'm asking you, you got to tell them what oh. you're doing. I'm about to make you look like an idiot whilst I walk around like this. I'll probably look dead cool. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? That looks sexy. Yeah. Excellent. Am I straight? I'm not sure, are you? <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> On my own? <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> So if I just showed you my holiday snaps, that would make me just another annoying relative, so I'm definitely not going to do that. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to stop this sequence at varying points and talk about the image that has been captured. Uh, so I thought this was a perfect chance to talk about 4K. What is 4K? 4K is nonsense. It's usually a complete lie. Uh, if you buy a 4K TV, oh. you're almost certainly getting true 4K, but if you buy a camera and it says 4K on the box, they're probably cheaping you out on a technicality. Uh, technically, it might be 4K, but actually the image will still look like garbage. Or maybe what they've done is they have taken an image and blown it up to 4K size on the output, when actually the input is not 4K. So 4K is how many pixels there are on the screen and I could probably use some kind of software to count them to tell you whether this is true 4K or not, but I prefer to just use my eyes to judge, um, being as there are other reasons the image might look like garbage other than the fact that it perhaps isn't true 4K. So we're just going to look at the images and try and decipher for ourselves: is this a good camera. The easiest way to look at whether the 4K resolution looks any good or if it is true 4K is to just zoom in. Uh, if you zoom in and you can still make out plenty of detail, then you probably have a true 4K resolution picture, or at least something that is doing a really good job of pretending. On the right, you'll see my Muson camera is doing a terrible job of pretending, and it has definitely lied to us. So it says 4K on the box, but if you zoom in, you can see quite clearly everything is really pixelated, and that's because there aren't really 4K's worth of pixels in that image. Uh, over on the left, though, you can make out a St. Albans van hire, for example, on the van, uh, and you can see the little crystals in Nisha's glasses. Everything looks very crisp and very detailed. Therefore, whether it's 4K or not, I am happy. <laughs> I don't want to catch that couple up because they're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they're fun in that. <laughs> you want to go in front of me? You bought to be on camera. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
So now a quick talk about frames per second. Frames per second is how many pictures this camera will take per second to make up the video. And this is another example of how the numbers are meaningless. Uh, because this camera only actually runs at 20 frames per second when in 4K mode. That isn't that good. But there is no blurring, there is no juttering, and you can even make out the wings on the fly uh, over only a two frame period. It's clarity and detail at just those two frames is incredible. And when I compare it to my Muson camera, which runs at 25 frames per second, it's a blurry blob of a fly. <laughs> so the numbers are kind of meaningless, and this camera does an amazing job of capturing a lot of detail in a very short time frame. So colour quality is a very subjective thing, it's all kind of down to personal preference. I personally prefer a more natural image, and I feel like the YI camera has delivered something that looks more like what my eyeballs saw on the day. Uh, the Muson, on the other hand, I feel has saturated the colours quite heavily. Now, I can always do that with the YI image, uh, and similarly, I can desaturate to a degree the Muson image to look more like the YI image, so it's not a massive thing. What I will do right now is try and do it. Uh, let's see what it looks like if I try and more saturate the YI camera to look like the Muson and desaturate the Muson to look a little bit more like the YI and see which one we prefer after I've finished fiddling about. That's straight enough? Yeah. Good. I have a good old mark on my forehead for the rest of the trip, aren't I? I'm going to like a d no matter what. <laughs> you do anyway, babes. <laughs> and this is why a professional camera will give you a flat colour output. It's because it's very difficult to take something that is already heavily saturated and make it look natural. But it's very easy to take something that is natural and make it look a bit more saturated. That is why the YI camera wins in this category too. All videos are made up of a sequence of images. Your eyeballs are not fooled if there aren't enough images. Your eyes go, hang on a minute, that's a whole bunch of pictures being thrown at me. Uh, and basically, the idea is the more frames there are, the more pictures there are, the more smooth the image will look. In slow motion, that's more difficult to do because we've slowed the picture down and therefore your eyes are harder to fool. In order to fool your eyes, your camera is going to have to take more pictures per second. It has to have a higher frame rate. And this basically means that your camera is going to have to take smaller pictures because it only has so much processing power. This particular camera will render in slow motion at 1080p, which is actually really high. Compared to my Muson camera, my Muson camera could only do 720p when it was doing slow motion video, and the results were very, very poor indeed. So every time I review a camera like this, I think, can it be better than the last thing that I reviewed? And the answer is almost always yes. And that's because that's how technology works. It moves on and it gets better. This is better than the Muson that I reviewed and is currently the same price as the Muson was. Uh, 60 pounds this is for this and a waterproof case and a bunch of accessories. And it is better than the Muson in almost every way. Technically, not. And that's where we go back to what I was saying in the video about numbers being meaningless. They are completely nonsensical because this is 20 frames per second for slow motion. The uh, Muson was 25 frames per second. And yet you can use your own eyeballs. This was way better than the Muson altogether. I'd say buy one. The touchscreen is lovely, poking it with your finger makes you feel good. Uh, I like the app that comes with it, very much so. The app is ingenious, uh, but I don't know about using it. I, I guess the problem with apps of this nature is it's draining either the battery of this or your phone or both. Uh, and with only an hour's worth of battery, why bother? Perhaps just press the button on the top and make it do its thing, right? So what's wrong with this camera? Um, there's always something wrong. With this one in particular, it needs its case because you can't stick it to your head without its case and it doesn't have a little screw thing in it either. You need the case if you want to mount this thing to anything uh, and the case blocks out all of the sound. There is practically no audio goes to this microphone if you've got the case on, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Final points of note then, this is made by Xiaomi, who I've reviewed a whole bunch of times before uh, with varying results. This is a great Xiaomi camera, and Xiaomi are known for their physical quality if nothing else. Uh, the app in this case is very good. I haven't reviewed it because, like I said, with an hour's battery life, you probably don't want to be cutting into that anyway. Uh, the app is very good. The physical hardware is very good. It's got a Sony something in there. So, I mean, we're talking about proper quality, and it shows 
throw out this review. I think this is a great camera and I would totally recommend buying one. I know I've said that already, I'm saying it again because it's worth saying twice. So how can you win one of these cameras? This camera can be won by you by uh, doing two things. First of all, I need you to comment on this video saying Paul, I'd like that YI camera, please. Uh, and you can plead your case if you want to. Maybe that'll make me put your name in the hat twice. Uh, basically, draw names out of a hat. So if you want your name in the hat twice, say something amusing. Second of all, and if you don't do this, I will not put your name in the hat. Uh, you must follow me on either Facebook or Twitter, or preferably both. Maybe that'll stick your name in the hat twice. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to make you figure it out for yourself because then you'll almost certainly subscribe to both. Uh, so make sure you're a subscriber. Hit me up on Facebook and uh, and on uh, Twitter. Uh, help me not be quite so drunk the next time I do this video. Make my life a little bit better. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. If you want to like this video, I'd recommend doing that. That'll probably get your name in the hat. Uh, and I'll see you next time. I don't know, I don't own the- uh, Jade Barker Bob! <laughs> and I guess that's because the house that sells you are. I'm drunk. <laughs>